Hey everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Uh, today we are doing another mini food. This is part of a much bigger playlist, so feel free to have a barathon, grab the popcorn and wasp, wasp, wasp? watch many of the others that I've already done. You know, mini food, the playlist that I started years ago that everyone does now, that's cool. I mean, it's, it's fine, but I'll just come up with something else. Am I joking? Uh, anyhow, today we are making a miniature apple pie. Uh, I've had quite a few requests for this one, so I thought I'd give it a stab. I've got all my mini apparatus down there. Let's get cracking. So, as always, the rules are very simple. We have got our chopping board here, which was sent in, but the uh, pie must fit on our Winnie the Pooh plate by the end. And today, I'm not quite sure if that's gonna be the case. Because, quite simply, uh, this tray uh, just, well, the plate does fit inside it. So, I think if it can go just outside height-wise, if it even does get that high, that'll be fine, because it will still sit in there. Uh, I don't even know what this tin's for. I think it's just for like making hors d'oeuvres and stuff, but I'm gonna use it. The other option was to make uh, like a foil casing around it, kind of like how I did with the mini lasagna on the last video in this playlist, um, but I th I'm confident. Of course, the great question is, that a lot of you sort of seem to debate, is that supposed to be Winnie the Pooh? I don't know. And it's random. How many of you guys actually have this same set as well? But have you got a hamper with loads of random bits in? So just flouring down my surface. Oh yeah. This is some leftover pie crust actually because we made a, a recipe for my cookbook, my first one last night, Gert Lush Chicken Pie, which is indeed Gert Lush. Which if you're not from the West Country means nice. Mini rolling pin, just to make this a teeny bit thinner. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go that way too, just a little bit. Now that's really nice and thin now, I like that. So we should have enough, hopefully, uh, for two, because I'm not sure if the base is gonna bake. So I'm actually gonna blind bake one and then make another in real time so we can compare. So we just get the scalpel knife, just run down there. Ooh, there you go, yeah. So for now, I'm just gonna put one of those sheets, just gonna sort of help it sort of fall into there a little bit and I can cut off the excess. I think I'll use these. So I'm just pruning, <laughs> I'm actually pruning the pastry, that's not working. Let's go back to the scalpel. All right, so just do, 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 do. All right, so I am happy with that. Um, we're gonna bake this just a little bit, just to cook it, because <laughs> I don't want a raw pie. That's like a song, isn't it? Raw hide, raw, in the oven. We better just uh, pierce the bottom as well, just a little bit. Found this sort of like prongy thing. Works a dream. It might only go in the oven for five minutes, but I just got to do this, all right? And I'm only putting it in there whilst the oven is still warming up, so it's not going to be too hot. Hands. This is a massive Bramley apple. Um, yeah, way too big, but perfect for an apple pie. So I'm going to slice this up. In fact, we're going to use our mini grater. So again, using my scalpel, this is deceptively sharp. Can take a cheek off that apple. Then all I'm going to do, <laughs> <laughs> is use my mini grater and just grate the cheek. This is great. I'm trying to think of an apple pun. Of course, of course, if we call the apple, of course it's going to be tasty. Uh, scraping the barrel there. All right, so they're all getting stuck up there, but we have nice bits of grated apple there. And to be honest, that's almost enough. I'm probably going to keep grating this cheek so, and then, yeah, we'll shove that in a, in a pan, you'll see. I'm actually over the moon with how that's turned out. That is looking cool, but it's a teeny bit wet. So there's some kitchen towel. Look, you can see how much that's absorbed it straight away. Uh, just by leaving it on the board there, it should dry a little bit. Mini saucepan. I haven't got a mini mixing bowl, but it needs to go in here anyway. This will do. Do you know what? I'm feeling that confident now that we're just gonna do one batch. So in goes the apple. We're not gonna do the one without blind baking it. Well, we will if this fails, okay? That's the deal. So Bramley apples can be notoriously sharp. So what we're gonna do is just like a normal apple pie, add in some sugar. So these are eighths of teaspoons. So we're gonna add in a quarter, two eighths. I do have a quarter one, but this looks smaller. A tablespoon of flour, a little vanilla extract. Again, that's eighth of a teaspoon. Bit of a boost in there. And, oh, oven's done. Oh, wow. That's shrunk. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, last thing, uh, cinnamon. Actually just a little bit of that, half of this, so about a sixteenth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. 
Right, putting that out of the way just for a minute, just to show you, that is our base. It has, it's, well, it's not browned, but it is cooked, which is the main thing, and it has shrunk back. So hopefully it will fit on the plate. Anyhow, I'm gonna let that cool down. Let me mix this up. And you guys tend to send me stuff for these videos. Uh, we're building up quite a collection. Uh, someone even offered to buy me one of those like complete mini kitchen sets that everyone's using, you know, buying hamsters and crazy stuff like that. I mean, that's a, that's a bit of a dedication. I mean, don't buy me a hamster, guys, all right? We we'll just mix this together. This is what we would be doing uh, in the mixing bowl. So we don't have to do this. We can shove it straight in the pie, but I'm just going to add that on there to warm through just to cook that flour for like probably about a minute max. Wow, yeah, I can really feel the heat. You can't see it, but you can feel it. All right, that'll do. All right, so there is our cooked pie crust. I've taken it out so that hopefully I can get the lid on a bit easier. I'm gonna push our cinnamon infused apple mix in there. Oh yes, nice. For a lid, I'm gonna use the top of the plate as a sort of template and uh, cut out a circle. Right, so I'm just gonna stick that on there. Ugh. Starting to look a bit more pie-y. Just gonna use this uh, fork thing to crimp it. <laughs> yes. This is a little bit delicate, but I'm gonna do my best to slide back in. There we go. All in one. Oh, you didn't really see that, but it's, it's in the tin, all right? Trust me. So now I'm gonna bake this for, a, I don't know how long, but until it's cooked, all right? <laughs> so in that goes, I'm gonna watch it like a hawk. Uh, and meanwhile, Amy is sort of contemplating life. All right, I've just got it out of the oven. And what I'm gonna do, I've got some egg white in this, uh, little thing, the teaspoon measure again, putting it on the top. And not only is this gonna probably help it go a little bit more golden, I'm also gonna add some sugar on. So just wash this out a minute. So hopefully it should just grip to the egg white. And I've always had a sugar coated apple pie. So I quite like this, it might caramelize a little bit as well. And I'll shove this back in the oven. Alrighty folks, I've taken it out of the oven and the burn. <laughs> There it is. I love how the sugar has caramelized on the top. It's going to give it extra flavor, um, but will it fit on the Winnie the Pooh plate? Uh, here we go. Boom. Uh, yes, I, I'm going to accept that as a winner. And of course, just for scale, there is uh, a 10 pence piece, which is about the size of a quarter. Nice. But of course, every apple pie needs a scoop of ice cream on top. <laughs> That's some um, Bargain Dars vanilla ice cream from this scoop, which has been the real hero of this video. I actually kind of want to dissect this a little bit. Ah. Oh. See that? Best served in a shot glass. Uh, these will actually make an awesome little thing to eat at a wedding, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. The taste and the texture is just like the real thing, which normally about 90% of these mini foods I get roughly right. So uh, if you do try making these mini foods, I'm not sure if you ever do, uh, but do uh, let me know, I'd love to see it. But they could make really cool hors d'oeuvres, like I say. Don't forget to check out the rest of the mini food playlist. There's about 40, I think, to date throughout the years that I've done. And let me know any suggestions that I haven't done already uh, down below. Remember to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun, and I'll see you again next time.